So we are standing in front of the Windermere Fire Station, Fire Station 31, which recently opened to service the southwest of Edmonton. It is also the city of Edmonton's first net zero energy facility. Net zero energy means we're producing as much renewable energy as we're consuming on site. The two main ways that we're producing energy in this case is a geothermal uh, installation, which allows us to heat and cool the building using the heat and cooling of the ground around it. And so underneath the parking lot, you have all of the system and they go deep into the ground and they allow for that heat and cooling exchange. The second one that allows us to create energy is the solar array, which is much more visible on top of the building, integrated into its roof, and that allows us to create energy that supports uh, all the needs of the facility. Now added to that, we've looked at uh, ensuring that we have the best insulation possible. And so the building has really thick walls, all the windows, the doors, the, the, the roof and the, and the slab have all been designed and constructed to have the maximum insulation possible. And so the doors are the really key feature. Uh, instead of going with traditional overhead doors, we selected folding doors that have better insulations that are faster and so allow us to keep the energy inside the building. And lastly is around the site itself, and that's the bioswale. And so that bioswale allows us to drain the water that's uh, created around the site or like when it rains, uh, the uh, site is sufficient to absorb all of the rainwater and then does not have to contribute to erosion or additional infrastructure that's required to drain that water out of the site. And so the bioswale not only provides for that, but it also provides for a nice landscape uh, for the fire station and for the neighborhood. There's really nothing more exciting than to see your projects come true and be able to service Edmontonians and be part of the community and doing it in a sustainable way that contributes to our climate resilience goal is just amazing.